Hey now, everybody, it's Aaron, and welcome to this week's Market Minutes. If you are in the market for a new home, track the market to get a sense of value of your current home, or just love looking at houses as much as you know we do, this is definitely the show for you. Let's do this. All right, just a quick update before we jump into the houses. We were off last week because we were just slammed. So the last two weeks have been very interesting. The buzz among the realtor community is definitely that the market is stronger than I think most people expected. We're seeing multiple offers and in some cases, a ridiculous amount of multiple offers on things that are really great. There are lots of people out there who want to move, but they are not desperate to move. So what does that mean? It means the good ones are getting a ton of attention and the ones that still need some work are not getting as much. And what we're seeing is that the buyer pool is going into a lot of these houses with the mindset of, oh, I'm going to have to be in competition. And they sort, of, they sort of back off, which leaves some of these middle of the road houses, which are kind of on the border of being okay to live in and needing work kind of leaves those up in the air about which way they'll go. So what we're doing for our clients is really staying in touch with those listing agents, finding out what the activity is, making sure that our clients aren't missing out, thinking that it's going to be uh, a bloodbath when it's actually quite attainable near the price. So interesting time out there. Definitely matters who you're working with so you know the inside and what's going on with each of these individual properties. Not a ton of inventory in Bethesda this week, much more in the other areas in our market. But I thought this one was interesting. 7505 Whittier Boulevard just hit the market at a million ninety. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath, just under 3,300 square feet above grade. That's a lot of square footage for that money. Interesting thing about this house is that it, it has an expansion all across the back. So this added a large island kitchen, super rare at this price point, and a large family room as well. Both of those things are almost impossible to find um, under 1-1. One, one. And then in addition, you also get a office slash bedroom on the main level and a nice mud room. Really great flow here. Upstairs, you do that expansion also added onto the primary suite. Got a nice large primary bath and walk-in closet. Two additional decent sized secondary bedrooms and bath. And then down on the way bottom level, you do have another legal bedroom as well as some storage space. Good yard. Look, it's on Whittier. I get it. But at a million ninety with all the square footage uh, in a sought after location, I think this one's going to get a ton of attention this weekend. All right, JT's got a few interesting things that have come on in Kensington. JT, take it away. Hey, thanks, Aaron. To piggyback on some of your comments about the market, I did want to say that I agree with everything you're saying. It's interesting because I think it's a healthy market out there. And uh, more specifically, the buyers and the sellers kind of understand the rules of engagement. Uh, by which I mean, we're seeing a lot of very good pricing. The, the properties are getting multiple offers, but not a lot of them are going bonkers and, and well over asking. And I think it's because, again, we're pricing them pretty well. A great example of that, perfect segue, is 3204 Kent Street hitting the market this week at a million two twenty five. This is a stately colonial uh, built in the 1960s. Uh, it is very close to the train tracks, but that is a light rail, the Mark train. So it's not that much of an impact. Uh, being close to the Beltway or even a busier street would probably be more of a negative in my mind. Moving inside, you can see that it is somewhat of a unique layout. They have a total of three fireplaces. Uh, one of them is in this cozy little den over off of the foyer area. Um, the kitchen, as you move back, is a decent size. It's been renovated at some point. Uh, they have the 42-inch uh, cabinets and stainless steel appliances. A bit of a galley kitchen. They've, they've got a breakfast bar in here, uh, which is nice. Then you have this 
inviting dining room uh, that actually is the conduit or the pathway back to this huge sunroom that they have. Moving upstairs, there are four bedrooms and two full bathrooms, which is a, a really nice size home for this uh, area. And there's even a, a bonus room on this upper level here, uh, which would be great for a home office or kind of a kid's rec room. Uh, the basement is finished. Um, it's a little bit small down here, but uh, has another fireplace and uh, access to the backyard. Without much else on the market and the other homes uh, that we've seen in the past weeks go uh, with a lot of attention, I think that we are probably going to see this go under contract in, in just a matter of days. All right, heading inside the Beltway, we have 2611 Ross Road hitting the market at $799,000. This is in the ever popular Rock Creek Forest subdivision of Chevy Chase. This is right off of East West Highway and Grub Road. Uh, true to its name, it is right next to Rock Creek, uh, Candy Cane Park and Beach Drive, easy access into the city and just a couple minutes from downtown Bethesda. This 1951 Rambler is uh, just under 2000 finished square feet. It has three bedrooms and one bathroom on the main level. As you enter the house, you see this really cozy uh, living room with the wood-burning fireplace. Uh, moving to the back of the house, you see that they've opened up the kitchen to the dining area uh, with this Scandinavian vibe, which I'm here for. A lot of natural light coming through these windows. The basement is also finished. Uh, they have another bedroom and bathroom down there as well. Um, you know, again, overall a modest house, but for $800,000, you get the Bethesda Chevy Chase High School School District, of easy access to a lot of uh, commuter uh, things, and you have the purple line coming in as well. Um, so honestly, I think this is well-priced, just like the first one. I, I do think it's going to get a lot of looks this weekend and likely find a buyer without an issue. That's all I got this week. Back to you, Aaron. All right. Thanks, JT. Let's wrap it up this week in Potomac in always popular Falls Mead. 1111 Pipestem Place just hit the market at 989. This is a five bedroom, three and a half bath, just over 2,500 square feet above grade. Now, Falls uh, Mead is not known for its large models. In fact, this is one of the larger original models. It's in good shape. It's got a reasonably new roof, windows, HVAC. I really like that the uh, the guts of it are in great shape. Cosmetically, it could use some help. Kitchen's not bad. I think it's very livable in the near term. I like that good uh, breakfast room space there. And then that is openable to the family room right now. You see there's a little half wall there. That can be removed. You will need some support in there, but it would really open up the space. Really large size living room and dining room on the main level as well. Upstairs, you've got four good sized bedrooms, including a really well sized primary suite. Bathroom's not huge and definitely needs some upgrades. Hall bath could use some upgrades as well. Uh, nicely sized walkout lower level. Looks like they got new carpet in here. Um, Absolutely love the screen porch on the back. That is a huge bonus. Overall, I'm very hot on this property. I think it's in a good move-in state in a great location within the neighborhood. Being the best model in there, I think it's going to get a ton of attention. For this reason, I'm going to go ahead and call this my hot deal of the week. Definitely let me know if you want to check it out. All right, that's going to do it for this week. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're not already doing so, please give us a follow at Jeweler Burton on social. Uh, if you know anybody who's looking to sell or getting into the market, please connect us. You know we'd love to help. Have a fantastic weekend. Great start to spring break. Enjoy it. Later, guys. Bye.